Michigan attorney Dana Nestle said the school officials have rejected her offer to review the Oxford High shooting, basically offering to pool resources of the state to make sure that the district, school, and state policies were not violated, in which most cases when a situation like this happens, and in the past when schools have had shootings, they kind of hire a third party investigative team. And Nestle had already said that she was worried about this and this is why she wanted to offer the state's full resources to basically examine and review what happened. Because a lot of times these third parties are pretty much only hired to protect their client. Meaning if the school is hiring a third party investigator or investigative team, they are more so trying to prove that they had nothing to do with it, couldn't have stopped this student from doing it, therefore they should not be held liable for what happened, because that can basically tear that school up from top to bottom. If anyone is found um, guilty of not following policy that could have stopped this event, in which the state prosecutor that is charging this case, that is basically charging Ethan, charging his parents, and has openly said that we haven't taken charging any school officials off of the board yet. We may charge school officials if we find out that policies weren't followed. I'll just keep it simple. It could have been stopped from happening. It did not have to happen this way if a lot of things were a bit different. Like if they would have searched his bag, if they would have searched Ethan's bag when he was in the meeting with his parents after already having multiple instances of him basically saying that he wanted to act out these violent things, drawing pictures of shooting students and students bleeding, saying we're all dead anyway, things of that nature, um, they would have found the semi-automatic weapon in his book bag or in his locker or anywhere on his person because he definitely had it in the school and had access to it. I mean, unless the parents brought it up during the meeting and gave it to him. I mean, there was no reason that he should not have been searched. And once the school basically told the parents to take him home, like, can you all please go get him evaluated, make sure everything is okay? The parents refused. At that point, you suspend students for any other reason. Insubordination, you can suspend him. You can um, do an in-school suspension. There are a lot of things that could have been done. They used to do in-school suspensions all the time when I was in high school. You gotta go sit in a room by yourself all day one day and do all your work. Now, that could have definitely changed everything if for some reason you all legally couldn't force him out of the school. You could have put him in in-school suspension, kept him in a room by himself to the end of the day and then let him out before or after everybody else. Keep that child by himself. But that is not what happened. So of course the school is a little worried and their spokesperson, Danielle, Danielle Stablinski has yet to respond to any thing that the attorney general is saying. I do know that Tim Throne, which is the school superintendent, said that policies were followed, basically stated everything that I said before and that they couldn't have done anything else. I think that that is a load of BS. The school had everything in their power. They had everything in their power. Should they be charged legally? I don't know. That is, that's a, that's a case that I definitely think that the state needs to review. Like, they need to review this. And the fact that the school rejected their offer to do it for free, like, the school is going to pay a third-party investigator. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Like, they're going to pay to have this investigated when they could have had it done for free fully by the state. Like, what's tea? Y'all must know that y'all didn't really do what y'all supposed to do. This is, this is a national there's going to be a lot of updates. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe for daily comment. I mean, daily content. Oh, my goodness. And daily news. You know, we keep it real here. You miss a video, you miss a lot around this bitch. So.